We know that excitation is how the nervous system stimulates an action potential in the muscle fiber sarcolemma. In order for a skeletal muscle to function, it must contract, which means it gets shorter. And when a muscle gets shorter, the skeleton moves at the joint it crosses. The series of events that links these two phases together is called excitation-contraction coupling. First, a wave of action potential spreads from the motor end plate in all directions. This is similar to the ripples formed on a pond when a stone is thrown. When this wave of excitation reaches the transverse tubules, which are commonly known as T-tubules, it continues down them into the sarcoplasm of the muscle fiber. Next, the action potential stimulates the opening of voltage-gated ion channels in the T-tubules. These channels are physically linked to calcium channels in the terminal cisterny of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. These calcium channels open as well. And since calcium ions are higher in concentration in the sarcoplasmic reticulum than they are in the sarcoplasm, they diffuse out and into the cytosol. The calcium ions will now bind to the troponin of the sarcomere's thin filaments. The main protein of the thin filament is called actin. This binding causes the troponin tropomyosin complex to change shape and move into a groove on the actin. This exposes active sites on the actin filament. The active sites are now available for binding to myosin heads, which are the main protein of the thick filament.